And on Friday, we talked about Tony Perkins and how he wanted to destroy America by having a revolution, a revolt. Right? So now, other conservatives are taking Tony Perkins' lead and have uh, petitions on the White House website. Now, this is how it works. If you start a petition on the White House website and it gets more than 25,000 signatures, the White House will respond to the petition. All right? That's how it's supposed to be. So now, one of the petitions has already garnered more than 25,000 signatures and i think that is the petition for the secession of texas if i'm correct let me check here first um yeah for texas twenty-five thousand signatures so basically what they're saying is we lost the election and all these right-wing red states are some of the people in those states, Those these reactionaries, are having a tough time. Now they're calling for secession. The South will rise once again. The secessionists have come back, and that's, that's who they are. What else can I say? That's who these reactionary, fascist, Dixiecrat, um, ideologues, that's who they are. They want to succeed from the Union, just like what they did in the 1840s, in the 1850s. And it started the whole Civil War. They want Civil War. They hate the Union. They hate a Union of any kind. And so, they're saying, oh, we're going to have a constitutional... States of America. That's what we're going to call our new country. Constitutional States of America. Really? You're saying that what you're doing is constitutional? Well, not according to the Constitution. Constitution doesn't allow for secession. That's according to the Supreme Court. Oh, those, those are activist judges. Supreme Court was really clear on this. There's, uh, no secession is allowed under the Constitution. I mean, what would... And, there's, and they're trying to be like like Jefferson. Well, Jefferson almost lost the, the country back to the Brits. But they're trying to be like Washington, Hamilton. They're trying to be statesmen, right? Do you think Washington, Hamilton, Benjamin Franklin, even Jefferson himself... Uh, you think all of our founding fathers fought and sweat and bloodied and all that? You think they did all that and fought all that for you to fucking destroy it, you little teabagger? For you to come over and say that we should have a secession, that states should just secede from the Union? You think that's what we fought for? I guess that's what you want. Fine, secede from the Union. As if that is constitutional. And ironically, you call yourself Constitutional Republic. Constitutional States of America. Alright? That's what you're going to call yourselves now, you tea little... You tea baggers? Yeah, we're so constitutional. Yeah! You know where all that secessionist theology comes from? It comes from... Basically, all the way back to the Scottish Freemasonry. They were behind the Civil War. The British were behind the Civil War as well. That's all. This whole thing about secession is all British. The British still want you to secede. And uh, the Queen, you know, she's smiling right now. I bet she is. Yeah, because finally she can take control of these, country, uh, these states. The ones who secede from the Union. You think you're, you're going to take the military with you? No, you're not going to take the military with you. You're going to have to build your own military. Because once you're seceded and you're on your own, good luck trying to fight off the British. Because they're going to try to subdue you economically. And they will because they're going to need money. 
you're going to need all that Federal Reserve credit because the Federal Reserve is not going to be there for you. You might say that's fine, but then you, what are you going to have? You're not going to have a national bank. You're not going to have any credit. What are you going to have, you, you Dixiecrat teabagger? What are you going to have? Oh, don't worry. We can issue our own dollars. <laughs> each state, each, 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 each city, each county will have their own dollars. It's freedom, right? And that was way before we had a country where each colony had their own uh, monetary system, and it was totally chaotic, trying to redeem uh, those uh, paper notes. And try to make a, a, a national you know, economy work where you have each state and even there were counties and towns with their own money. And guess what? You know, that led to a lot of confusion, robbery, fraud. <laughs> it led to a lot of uh, mistrust until finally we have a U.S. dollar, one note for the whole country. But if you, if you, if you Dixiecrat teabaggers want to really fuck things up for yourselves go ahead do it i dare you succeed from the union we'll let you go uh, we'll take away all those federal funds that you're gonna have that you want uh all, all the federal funds to maintain your electricity to maintain your highways and all that you're you're, you're all gonna live like a third world country if, if that's what you want uh we'll give it to you if that's what rush limbaugh is telling you to do yeah, well, what else can we do, right? You have no respect for the Constitution because the Constitution is there to create a perfect union. And you don't want a perfect union. Uh, imagine this. Imagine if Lincoln was still alive right now. What would he say to this kind of shit? Lincoln, the founder of the Republican Party. Probably the only real Republican that was that ever existed <laughs> now we have these petty bourgeois uh reactionary fascist loudmouth tea baggers who now are saying we need to succeed we need to succeed what will lincoln do you think he died like this in vain and then no they're saying that um no, the ones who are succeeding are the good guys, right? The ones who want separation are the good guys. We're the ones who are, uh, we are going to boot the other states out of our country. Yeah, where is that in the Constitution, buddy? Where is that in the Constitution, you stupid, toothless teabagger? Where is that? Do you ever wonder why I left your Tea Party movement and I got really pissed off and I'm calling you a tea beggar. You know why? Because you guys, you people have no American exceptionalism. You pretend. And you know what? Ron Paul was right. He said that fascism is going to come wrapped around in the cross with the American flag wrapped around it. And he was right. You people can wave all the American flags. In fact, you shouldn't be waving American flags. Because you hate America. You don't want a union anymore. <laughs> you don't want that. God. This is really stupid. Well, there you go. Sore losers. That's what they are. They want us to seek from the union. What is this now? What is this? You think that that uh, some of you pundits out there who are saying, "Oh, don't worry, the Republican Party is gonna get their act together. They're gonna see this loss as you know they should uh, regroup. They should no, 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 no. Look, this is the Republican Party. This is who they are. They want to now they're their secessionist party. You get that? The Republican Party was started to uh, support and maintain the union." And now they're going to go in reverse? What the fuck is this? It's, re it's regressive politics. They want to go back to the Stone Age. That's what they want. And don't worry. They'll have their rich daddies, Donald Trump and Koch brothers, and all of them. As George Soros even. Uh, they'll come out and support these fuckers. Yes, they will. 
uh, they get what they want. Uh, but <laughs> it's a session. <laughs> Put it up for a vote then. See see if you actually win. Let's see if Alabama wants to secede. I bet you all the money I have right now, you're not gonna win that that referendum. Mm -mm. The voters, voters of these states are not gonna secede because they're smarter than you. They're gonna say, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we secede from the union, we're not gonna get any more welfare checks. We're not gonna get any more social security. Actually, there's no welfare check, but no more social security, no more Medicare. Who's gonna? Oh no! But don't worry, your teabagger government is going to support, you know, yeah, they're going to fund all those necessary social safety net programs and entitlements. Don't worry. The elderly would gladly give up their social security for freedom. <laughs> uh, the logic of these illogical morons.